Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allamteni ve allimni bima yanfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke l'alimul hakim. My topic today is about finger in a glove appearance seen in lung CT scan of the film of the chest at the key for differential diagnosis and common and less common causes and some example we will give in this talk. Essential information, the key for differential diagnosis issues, finger in a glove refers to mucoid impaction with dilatation of large bronchi, resulting in tubular or branching obesities. Initially described in patients with allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, tubular obesities seen on a radiograph may be bronchial or vascular in origin, can be confused with arterial venous malformation radiography, CT re reveals low attenuation in mucus in dilated central bronchi. Thus, differentiation from vascular causes can be obtained. The differential diagnosis for finger and glove appearance. The common causes include allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, congenital bronchial atresia. The clues for the common causes Allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, it is a hypersensitivity reaction due to aspergillus antigen, usually aspergillus femigatus, and usually occurs in patients with asthma or cystic fibrosis, associated with elevated IgE level and peripheral xenophilia usually affects the other lobes. Secretion may be hyperattenuated hyper on CT scan due to presence of calcium oxalate. Here, this is a patient with allergic, bron allergic bron bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, as we see here, tubular branching structure in this coronal contrast enhanced MIP images giving the appearance of finger and glove formation in the upper lobe of bronchi. And this bronchi with the mucoid impaction, it is larger than the adjacent bronchi and larger also than the adjacent blood vessels. Here, this is another patient with the frontal X-ray with tubular structure here in the right upper lobe and another tubular structure in the left mid zone. On the axial CT scan, the same patient, there is a three dilated mucoid impacted bronchi in the right upper lobe, and this is correspond to the obes tubular obesity in the chest radiograph on the right side. And this is typical of uh, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. Here is another patient 
as we see in this contrast axial CT scan, there is tubular branching uh, dilated structure with, due to mucoid impaction of bronchi radiating from the hilum into the left upper lobe in patients with allergic bronco pulmonary aspergillosis and here where there is also a grand glass obesity with minimal blood in fact with pleural effusion due to likely infection congenital bronchial atresia there is due to, it is due to congenital atresia of segmental bronchus and usually incidental finding, but may cause recurrent infection in about 20% of patients. Most common in apical posterior segment of the left upper lobe, followed by right upper lobe. CT reveals surrounding pulmonary hyperlucency due to air traveling and oligemia. Here, this patient with axial contrast enhanced CT scan, there is dilated mucus impacted bronchi in the left upper lobe surrounding by lucency of the pulmonary tissue typical of congenital bronchial atresia. Less common causes include cystic fibrosis or obstructive mass lesion. The clues for less common causes, cystic fibrosis, it is a congenital disease caused by chloride channel mutation on chromosome 7. Recurrent infection lead to progressive bronchial wall injury, and CT scan finding include bronchiectasis, mucoid impaction, bronchial thickening, mosaic perfusion, and the three embodied obesities. Here, this patient with the coronal Contrast enhanced CT scan shows bronchiectasis with a mucoid impaction. These are the bronchiectatic changes with filled with the mucus, giving the appearance of a mucoid impaction, dilated bronchi with the branches associated with the bronchial wall thickening. Here, there, there, and here associated with air trapping, and this is typical of cystic fibrosis. Obstructing mass lesion, a rare benign endobronchial tumor, include lipoma, babyloma, hematoma, malignant tumor, are more common, including carcinoid, bronco genic carcinoma and endobronchial metastasis. Obstructive tumor may be directly visualized on CT scan. As we see here, there is uh, axial contrast enhanced CT scan. There is mass lesion here, central mass lesion. It is due to mass, due to small cell carcinoma on the left lower lobe of bronchus, resulting in dilatation and the mucoid impaction of the distal airway here. Thank you for listening. Hoping to see you in another talk soon.